Well, we find ourselves on the Nottaway Indian lands here on Route 58 in southern Virginia and right on the edge of North Carolina. And understand the Nottaway tribe pretty much controlled most of Virginia and North Carolina at one time and probably stretched out further than that hunting. So we are right dead center of them, but we got lucky and ran into this lovely Indian maiden. And she has actually just got her Indian name, which is Raging Tornado, except for, I couldn't find those words in the Indian dictionary, so we had to name her Little Storm, which the definition of that is that you see a storm cloud in the sky on a perfectly blue sunny day. You see the storm cloud go, wow, look at that cute little uh, cloud. And then the next minute you're running for your life. This is her. <laughs> she has 42 different jobs, which she does once a month. And I tried to find her a part-time job for the three seconds she has left over at the end of the month. And she looked at me and said, are you simple or what? I don't have three seconds left over. <laughs> so little storm, how are you today? I'm doing absolutely fantastic. And you're here on the Nottaway lands? Yes, yes, in our, in, in our tribal center, which is the Nottaway Indian Tribe of Virginia Community has an interpretive center. Yes, and you can find that right in western Virginia, right along the border on 58. It's a must-see. In the big town of Cape Ren. In the big town of Cape Ren. <laughs> so, um, where, where is your favorite place on earth? My favorite place on earth is probably standing on the banks of a river. And I would say the Nottaway River. Okay, which runs north and south? Through Virginia. Yep. Yes. Okay. And it's right down here around the corner. It's the All ancestral right. river of our people. And we're people of the water. And we really have three rivers that run through our traditional lands. The Blackwater, the Meharan, and the Nottaway. Okay. And you, uh, a thousand years ago, the Nottaway were pretty much hunters gatherers, right? Absolutely. You weren't so much warriors, no. but you joined with the Iroquois Confederacy for protection and trading. Well, and we're Iroquoian people historically. That's our linguistic group. So, you know, these are our family, our extended family. And they're the northern Iroquoian and the southern Iroquoian. And the southern include the Cherokee, the Meharan, the Tuscarora. So we are of that southern group, but we're all related peoples. Okay. All now, married across lines and things. Right. Now, this is this is late summer. So uh, you're gonna, you probably, I hope you can see them with this camera, but maybe not. We've invited some special guests here today. <laughs> they're called... Uh, Nats. Nats. And they're <laughs> everywhere. Uh, I think they're going to carry us away. I saw two of them holding a stretcher with my name on it earlier. At least they're not mosquitoes. Yes, yeah, those big ones. And we're just surviving a hurricane through here, too. Yeah, I got bit by about 50 of those the other day. It was not fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> So these next couple of questions are very optional. What has been the very best moment of your life? I think one of the best moments of my life was reconnecting with my people here because our family moved away from the area generations ago and I had lost track of all these cousins. And my grandfather started doing family history years and years ago and he wrote a book about the family history. And I went to the opening of the Native American Museum in Washington, D.C., and ended up meeting a fellow on the bus, and we were talking about our shared Nottaway ancestry, and he said, a cousin wrote a history about our family, and I said, well, who was that? He said, Elgin Lowe, and I said, that was my grandfather. And we connected, and I basically found all these folks, and I started talking to people, and I'd say, oh, well, you're my cousin we start talking about you know who we were descended from and the day I walked into the circle at my first Nottaway powwow as an official member of the tribe I cried like a baby because I was home. Now with your beautiful accent you were born where in New Jersey? <laughs> I was born in Manhattan New York believe it or not New York City. New York. <laughs> My favorite thing to do is go to Schwartz Toy Store. <laughs> there comes the accent. You can never lose it. Some 
words just kind of stay with you there. <laughs> so you, you traveled around and ended up back here. Yes, we moved back here when I was uh, five years old. My parents were both in graduate school when I was born, and they decided that New York was kind of a crazy and hectic place to raise children, and they moved back to Virginia. Sweet. Um, so what has been the worst moment of your life? Gee. I have a brother who got into trouble. And that was hard because having anybody in your family who's in trouble is hard. And so, uh, all these years you've been on Mother Earth, all 21 of these years, <laughs> plus, a, plus a couple, what lesson has Mother Nature or Mother Earth taught you? Mother Earth has taught me to be light, to bring joy to enjoy life and to share it with others and to treat everything with respect. So how'd you get the name Wild Storm? Oh, I'm sorry, Little Storm. Okay, so, all right. So if all your 21 plus a couple years on this earth, what advice do you have for the rest of us poor miserable creatures out here? I would say to support each other, to love each other, to take care of each other, and take care of the earth. I think we as people throughout the planet do a horrible job of that. And we're too focused on what can I get for me? We're too focused on how can I get bigger, better, more? And there's so much ugliness in the world. And I want to see that change. And I know the Creator has so much better for us. And I think if we just looked out for each other as much as we care about ourselves, it would change the world. Okay, so starting in New York City and going full circle and winding up here, the question I'm dying to ask you is, how do you feel about being Nottaway Indian? I love being Nottaway. That is probably one of the things I'm most proud of. I believe the Creator has always called me to my native heritage, and I am passionate about preserving our heritage, our language, our songs, our traditions, our culture, and so much has been lost by people over the years by not sharing it and not practicing it. It's been one of my goals to try and help restore the history and the culture, and then to figure out not only looking back, but how do we continue to carry that forward for the next seven generations. Wow, that was a lot deeper than I was thinking. I was thinking, I wonder if there's any Slurpees left at 7-Eleven. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, now, uh, part of the scope of this documentary is to show the rest of the world that number one, us Indians are still here. Absolutely. And we still contribute to society. So you coming full circle from being a poor little barefooted urchin girl with a hole in her t-shirt from New York City, sort of, and all the way to here. Tell me some of your accomplishments because I listened for almost a half an hour of the things that you've done and that you do and so. Well, geez, that's a long story. I'll try and keep it concise, but I have a BS in chemistry and a PhD in pharmacy, both from Virginia Commonwealth University. I worked as a development chemist for a company called uh, Whitby, which was a small pharmaceutical company in Richmond. Then I went up to uh, Ohio and I worked for a not-for-profit research institute called Battelle. Then I ended up coming back to Richmond, Virginia and working for a company called American Home Products. And then eventually that was bought out by Pfizer and I've been at that same location now for 19 years working in drug development. My area is analytical chemistry. I also am the um, chair of the, um, oh, past chair, rather, of the American Chemical Society in Virginia and served on the committee there for quite a number of years and I'm still on there as a ad hoc member. I'm on the board of trustees for the Science Museum of Virginia and I'm also on tribal council here at the Nottoway Indian Tribe of Virginia and in my spare time, I sing in my church choir, which is Tabernacle Baptist Church. We're going to get to that singing here in a minute. 
But yes, yeah, so realistically, you're not just a ignorant savage sitting around a campfire waiting to attack the wagons in a circle, right? No, no, it's not kind of my thing. Good. That's, <laughs> that is not what I've ever run into. I do have a strong streak, though. Don't mess with me. I will come after you if you push the wrong button. If you've ever, if you've ever been in a little, what you thought was a little storm, it ended up being a wild tornado. Absolutely. So we're, we're naming you Wild Tornado, shortened down to Little Storm. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.